Hey guys, what's up? This is Rayers. I'm going to try to make this review as quick as possible. So today I'm reviewing the Studio Secrets Anti-Retinous Primer Corrector by L'Oreal. And this is from the Secrets number two, Studio Secrets. <laughs> Sorry. So this, I purchased it a while back and um, it was about 7 or $8. I don't remember. But I got it because of uh, I wanted to take care of some redness. And I think I have, well, I could see in the camera, I have retinas around here and here. So those are the two areas that I have uh, retinas, forehead and cheeks. Okay, so I have it actually on half of my face, which you could tell because this side looks kind of greenish and this side looks, you know, brighter or whatever. This has nothing and this has the greenish color. Now, what you need to watch out for with putting on this primer is that if you have dry skin, it's going to show extra. Like, it's going to cling on to that dead skin, like right here and right here. Um, in my case, like, if I exfoliate that area hardcore before I put this on, it's going to irritate it really bad. So I, I actually, actually have to leave that dead skin there so it can heal underneath and, you know, get better. Um, but these two areas, they're like a... We're kind of chronic. They're, I think it's a form of eczema. I, I really haven't gone to the doctor, but I will soon to get it checked out. Uh, I've had it for a year. But anyways, um, if it weren't for this dry area, this would have been perfect, sort of, because it it like leaves a you know a different hue on your face. But if you have dry skin, it's gonna give you some problems. So anyways, um, sometimes I thought. I thought this was over drying at first because of this and I would mix it in with a face cream at the beginning um, but now I'm kind of like I'm going to try it by itself. I've been trying it by itself and it's okay. So now it's not going to totally get rid of the redness areas like, you, like this part maybe needs a little bit more because you can still see the redness through it. And from here, you can definitely still see, I mean, because I don't have anything, but, like, here and here, like, the blemishes, it's not going to overtake those. You definitely still need a plant concealer. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, foundation on that part so you can take a look at how it's going to look like. Um, let me just get some foundation right here. So I'm just putting on it, putting it on with the sponge, just so you can see like the result of how it looks underneath some foundation. Let me go ahead and just put it on my finger for a faster application, so that the video doesn't end by the time I get it on. And this foundation is a little bit too light for me. Um, but it's okay because I'm going to cover it with a darker powder later on. I just wanted to show you if it took off the if the primer took off the red hue from underneath. Gonna need a lot of foundation okay so and over time what I've found out with this is like you can't you can't use this primer with a, a light foundation because it's gonna make it look green underneath like it's gonna make it look very um sorry it's gonna make it look very <laughs> green it's just gonna look green like you have to use the heavy foundation, honestly, because it's just going to look green and it's going to show up underneath anyway. You have to use, like, something really thick, like, I don't know, maybe even a, something like MAC or something like the CoverGirl um, Aqua Smoothers, like, something really thick. Because, like, this, this is just a regular foundation. And, look, it didn't even, it still looks green underneath, like, yeah. 
you cannot use a light foundation with this primer at all. So this I'm not going to be purchasing again because it's just a little too hard to work with. Like you need something really heavy, a really heavy foundation to put on top of this. And I usually don't use too heavy a foundation because uh, it's very hot where I live. It's I live in Texas. So I'm not going to be purchasing this again. Uh, probably during the winter months it's okay underneath a very high coverage, um, very high coverage foundation. But I think it's weird because I don't think L'Oreal has a lot of very high coverage foundations. Like maybe one or two in their line are high coverage. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe they need to change the formula or change the hue of the color a little bit. But as for keeping the makeup on, like for a long time, that was okay. It was not bad, like the lasting power. But um, for dry, dry spots on your skin and for like for darker people like me, I don't think it's that good. Like maybe for lighter skin, and heavy foundation, it's good. But for darker people, um, I don't think it's that good. So, yeah, that's how it looks with foundation on. So I'm really going to have to pack on the powder or put on a different foundation over it. But as far as it being smooth underneath, it is pretty smooth. Primer-wise, it's smooth. But color-wise, it's not. Uh, doesn't do that much for me not much positive anyway so thank you for watching i hope this was a good review and i've used like half of it but i shook it right now so i've dealt with it halfway <laughs> and i'm just going to finish it and throw it out i won't purchase this anymore but it was a good test run <laughs> it was a good try but yeah i'm pretty sure they have other primers that i need to try that are probably a lot better than that one and i don't think they're going to reproduce that one again oh so, anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye.